Are you an international pharmacist looking to work in Canada? Stay tuned because this video has all the steps you need to know. Hi guys, welcome back to Farmers. In this video, I want to share with you the steps you need to be aware of if you want to emigrate as a pharmacist to Canada. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back with the plug. After that Ireland video where we discussed the PSI, so many of you guys were so grateful and started commenting on other places you'd like to investigate or emigrate. So next on the list was Canada. And this video is all about Canada, my dear beloved country. Some of you may not know, but I actually grew up in Canada. And sometimes when people ask me about my accent and stuff, it's from Canada and then partially mixed with other stuff. But anyway, I love Canada. It's my favorite place on earth. Um, and it's one of, two only countries in the whole world that are bilingual, okay? The second one being Cameroon. So it's funny because C-A-C-A, -C -A, Canada, Cameroon, the only two bilingual English and French countries in the world. And um, so the advantage here is that if you're French speaking, you can go work in Canada as a pharmacist. And if you're English speaking, the same. So guys, first and foremost, you have to know about PEBC. That's the Pharmacists Evaluation Board of Canada. They are basically like a regulator, okay? Like the PSI in Ireland. So when you wanna apply, whether you've studied in Canada, in the US, or anywhere else in the world, obviously they'll have to determine if your degree is up to standard, et cetera, et cetera. So they will have to, you know, start the evaluation process. But there are basically four steps at PEBC for you to qualify or certify, for you to get certified um, with the board, okay? So first of all, they will wanna check or do like an evaluation on your documentation. And this is mostly your degree um, and then your ID uh, documents and stuff. They want to see where your degree is from, if it's up to standard. Um, they will only take a minimum of a four-year undergrad pharmacy degree. So all you guys with the B Farm are good to go, whether it's from the UK or Europe or South Africa, like the case here, you all will qualify. Um, they also will take a Farm D or a B Farm with a postgrad. So you'll do your document evaluations there. And this first step is a prerequisite to go on to step number two. Um, so you have to get that done. Step number two involves them checking your pharmacy it's a pharmacy examination. And in step number one, when they check your documentation, they also really wanna check your professional and educational credentials, okay? Then you move on to step number two. Here, it's a pharmacist um, professional evaluation. And again, they wanna check your skills, your aptitudes at entry level, okay? Then, also a prerequisite to step number three, which is the profession, the pharmacist's qualifying examination. And this is divided in two parts. You have part one, which is a multiple choice question. And then part two, which is on a different day, is a like clinical type setting, right? You have stations and you have almost like scenarios and stuff. You have to like, it's like case studies really. So apparently you can do step one, two, and the first part of step three in um, in your home country, and then only come into Canada when it's time for part two of step number three, when it's time for the um, clinical examination, the final step. 
And then when you pass this one, which apparently is really tough, so you have to like study and like really, you know, know your stuff, then you officially qualify and get certified at the board in Canada, at the pharmacy board. So Pharmacist Evaluation Board of Canada. So you get your certification and then you're good to go. But wait, before you even start your whole documentation process, be aware guys that immigration is a thing. A lot of people have done the exams and passed it all, but then still can't work because those two are different things. You can be registered with the board, but not allowed to work in the country. So before you start the exam process of your documentation and your uh, credentials and do the exams, do investigate with immigration on what are your options. You can only work in Canada if you have citizenship or a PR, permanent residence, or a work visa, okay? So look on the immigration website, what you can apply for, and um, then you can take it from there and start the two processes in parallel. There is also a, uh, a kind of a shortcut. I think they have some sort of a skilled work visa, which will allow you to apply for work a little quicker. It's like a critical skills in South Africa. Um, but um, the Board of Pharmacy is the one that facilitates that. There's this other thing called the Pharmacist's Gateway that all international applicants need to start with. This will give you an idea of the duration of the whole process or application process. It'll tell you what you're likely to encounter, um, what are possible delays. For example, if you fail one of the exams, how much longer you have to wait for retesting and your limits because you can't just take the exam a hundred times i think it's very limited to like three or so um and then if they will tell you like on average the application process has been known to take up to two years um i think they said like 26 months or something so start the process early the same like i said with ireland you need to start this process early, you guys, so that you're not crunched and pressed and like rushing, okay? Start it early, be relaxed about it, find out dates, when exams are happening, what are your options, when you need to fly over there, and um, then you're like cool, calm, and collected. You don't want to be like rushing and stressed and panicked when the process is supposed to be enjoyable. You're making a career move you're going to a fabulous country. In the meantime, you can also start looking for work so that by the time immigration sorts you out, you already have somewhere ready for you to begin work. Um, so it's supposed to be a good, fun, enjoyable process. So give yourself enough time so that it is enjoyable and not too stressful, okay? So, like I said with the PSI, guys, these websites are so user-friendly, they're so well-designed that you really don't need to stress and fuss. Go on the PEBC website, go on the Pharmacist Gateway Canada website, all the information is there. You'll have fees, um, timelines, so you can really prepare, know how much you're going to have to put in financially and time-wise and then you'll be good to go. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I did a little bit of homework to help you guys. Those who are interested to emigrate towards Canada, you absolutely should do it. It is a fantastic country. Um, it has the advantage of having two languages. So whether you wanna go to Quebec or Ontario, um, to speak French or speak English in the rest of the other provinces, the choice is yours, baby. Um, so yeah, like I said before, I'm encouraging people to travel, go abroad, it opens up your horizon, it opens up your heart, your mind, your compassion, you just become a new improved version of yourself. You discover so much, like, we're so cocooned in the place we live, and if it's the only place we've ever been all our lives, 
You tend to just have these dead end ideas and dead end thought processes. But when you travel, my goodness, you just, you just, you just emancipate. I don't know. You just like bloom. That's a good one. You bloom. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know which other country you want to hear about next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.